Welcome back to Icarus. My name is Neil Larson. This is another episode of our let's uh, let's play combined uh, playthrough from uh, between Twitch and YouTube. So what I'm doing is I am leveling and uh, hunting and doing stuff on uh, Twitch, and then I'm uh, going to be here on YouTube. I am going to show showcase what we build and then go, go out and do some excursions and that kind of thing. And uh, this uh, will cover sort of episode or what we have done from level 20 that we hit just as the in the last episode and up to 20. 25 and then from 25 and onwards so if we look at our detectory uh, by the way come on over to twitch when i'm streaming it and then uh, that will that's super cool to hang out and, uh, and be part of it and doing all those silly things while uh, this is more of a sort of summary and come and, and sort of compilation of what we do we hit level three here uh, tier three at level 20 and we get a machining bench the machining bench opens up for a lot more iron things and also gets us to steal so the first thing we needed to do was actually build the machining bench there's a lot of things here and this allows us to do other things as well now the reason why we want or when you start with the machining bench all the things that open up from here will be pretty much steel related so we need to go back and this is a bit sort of i feel it's a bit uh, cheeky because you can get the steel bloom early and you can make the steel bloom six iron for and one coal for one steel bloom but you can't really use it for anything because in order for us to, to use it, we need a concrete furnace to make the steel bloom into steel. And the concrete furnace needs concrete mix. The concrete mix comes from a concrete mixer that comes from the machining bench. So with all those things uh, sorted out, then we can see, all right, we have a we have a concrete furnace that we built. But first we needed to get, um, get some silica and into some concrete mix. Then we can make the here, make this one and it looks absolutely glorious we have a uh, quite a bit of steel here that's really nice we have some steel i use the steel for making a steel knife a steel pickaxe and a recurve bow those are in my opinion the most important things to get i'll still make more obviously but at this point that's uh that's what i'm focusing on and uh, then another thing that we can also make and that comes over from this location is the fact that i can now do a lantern which rates iron and glass so glass is also something you make in the concrete mixer i think is that true nope then it is in here yes if you put silica in you get glass out that's pretty neat so that's uh what we need the reason why we want this steel skin knife is because it's super efficient in terms of uh, it has sixteen thousand uh, durability and it takes one steel so it's pretty efficient and gives a lot of uh, gets 200 yield from skinning the other part is the steel pack i guess this allows us well most mostly it gives us more yield but it also um it also gets us uh, allows us to mine aluminium platinum and aluminum uh, what's the other one titanium yes so that's super cool cool items as well looking at my build here we have some internal interior decoration here gets all the way up here we have uh, this area is for mainly organics like uh, cooking this location cooking and we also have another thing a biofuel composter this biofuel composter is uh, and, and don't judge me but i'm just eating a little bit out of the composter from time to time we take our lantern in and we can take the other lantern out and then this one will now be filled up with fuel it's just decomposing these things here and a, a little thing if you want to optimize it then you can do stuff like that uh, to just make sure that it gets the lower quality items first there we go and get that sorted uh, then it'll just continue it uses tree sap plus something else to build up with fuel and then we have this one uh, a lantern i use two lanterns because then i can just go in and and change them up otherwise i tend to forget them we have our other things nothing new and exciting here uh, as we go out we haven't built anything in this room yet and then instead of making it sort of four length then we keep this open and we'll have a little uh, garden out here I, I suppose and we have can go up and we have a little terrace here. I don't know exactly what we're going to do, but it's going to be nice. We also have an opportunity. If we really feel like it, we can go this way and in here and down here and then get eaten by the fishies or just to have a little sip of water and get the parasites. Yay. We are also working on this side, which has just a few things. This says a, what is this one? This is the glass working, which we don't have any recipes for. And the carpentry bench, which can you use to make refined wood and get the interior wood railing. So we have quite a lot of things. On top of that, we also have uh, missions. We have a silly, silly mission of hunting rabbits. We found six rabbits, really annoying uh, to hunt 18 rabbits. Now, what we're going to do today is we are going to uh, look at go out and build a new mining setup so there is a setup here where is it there is a perpetual miner that one a biofuel deep mining drill 
this is going to be built. It needs steel. It needs electronics. It needs epoxy. It needs copper ingots. But it also needs a can of... Hmm. Where is it? We need to make some electronics. Yes. And well, we did get a canister. Oh, there's the canister. Biofuel can. So we start by making a biofuel can. And uh, this will be there. So we need some steel or some iron. That's uh, going to get a stack of iron. So you can see that we have starting to have a little bit of uh, resources available. We're going to make one of these. And where are you? There you are. Biofuel can. I can take the biofuel can and go over here to the biofuel we built before. There we go. Oh, I'm going to eat some cream corn. And I'm also going to eat some prime meat. There we go. That's cooked bacon. And we have three foods up and running. We can also just chop up on our prime meat since it's here. Oops, consume all. So we have that. And now the next thing, that's the biofuel can. Then we need to make all the things we need. We have this. So that is 12 steel ingots and some epoxy. 12 steel ingots. We know we have that here. We'll just move 20 over. So that's one thing. We need some epoxy. That is something I know we have some epoxy somewhere. That is tree sap. Okay, so we don't have epoxy, but we can make epoxy pretty easily. I make epoxy from the crushed bone. That is the best recipe. So we'll get that going. We need some copper as well. So let's get the copper over. I don't, can't remember how much copper it is. And uh, let's look at the miner there. And then electronics is a big deal. That means resin, refined gold, uh, resin. Oh, organic resin is here. That one and that one. Get the organic resin and the epoxy. We're getting closer. We're getting closer. Now this here is missing six of those. So can I make six? I can make six. Great. Six electronics. They require refined gold, which you can only bur burn in this one. As long as you you can pick up the gold or you can mine the gold with an iron pick, but you can't smelt it until you have the concrete furnace or the blast furnace. And now we can make... We don't have enough copper. Well, I know we can get more copper from here, so let's grab the copper. So copper is something that in the beginning you don't really need it that much, but damn, you need it a lot uh, later on. There, we get one of these. We'll get that, and moving over. And see if our canister has been filled up in the meantime. Uh, no, not yet. All right, so let's wait for this one to uh, fill up, and then we can grab it and go out. All right, it is now completed. We'll take the biofuel can. We are going to take our lantern in here and we're going to take the full lantern back out again. We are going to also keep some antibiotic tonic because we are probably going to go into a cave of some sorts. So we'll always get the uh, antibiotic. Then we are going to just see if we can get some food going here. That one, uh, that one. What do we got? Uh, we're also a bit low on food. Uh, this one, the cooked meat didn't go here. So we'll take something like... Some fruit salad. Yay, let's get some fruit salad with us. And let's see, anything else? Nope. Uh, we are going to get down here. Switch our water with our water. And also just chop up. Cool. It is now time for us to head out and into the wild. Into the wild. Let's have make sure we have our deep mining drill. And we have our antibiotic. And there's one more thing we want to keep. Uh, with us or get with us as well that is over here we'll just get a little box with us just because we might need it so i have found a place that there is a location for our miner so we'll go out there and do that we also have our new recorpo which uh, should be dealing a fair bit of damage here to uh, anything a little wolf and uh, we don't even see the damage here we'll have to be a little bit closer to us to see the damage but it's it's adding up and especially with sneak attacks we're killing pretty much anything in one shot and where we're going, we are going into bear and crocodile territory. So that's uh, a little more challenging. Uh, here's our old house. I will just let it sort of fall apart by itself, as old old houses sh should be. Uh, we are going to just go out here and just... Uh, yeah, you always need a lot of leather and scraps and stuff like... Because epoxy, you need so much epoxy. And the best way to make epoxy is through bones. And bones gets... You get bones from stuff like these. And if you don't keep killing these things, then sometimes you're going to be ending up in a position where you just need more, but you don't have more. And then it's a big farming issue. Uh, there we go. Goodbye for you. And what about little Bambi? You okay, little Bambi? Where are you? There you are. All right. Well, that's uh, not very nice of us, but that uh, 
saves us one more Disney movie, so that's all good. And we're going to get there. Now, I actually don't know about our when we place one of these miners in, in open terrain. Uh, it's probably going to take storm damage and stuff, because if you see this pillar over here, that is not placed by accident. It's placed so I can find this place again. This is a place of ta -da, a deep mining ore drill deposit thing. And that's where we're going to be placing our miner here. We're going to be putting some fuel in and we're going to activate it. Ta -da. I don't think it actually attracts things, but uh, yeah, you might, it might. Uh, what we're going to do for here is go further in and look at uh, further caves for exploration. We're going to be kind of hugging the wall up here because uh, we don't want to have bears and stuff coming in from both sides. So we'll go this way and keep an eye on this. This is helping us immensely, this uh, this talent that allows us to see things on the map. We even have another one where you can see. There we go. So we can see this is a Komodo. Um, I don't know how to not do it. Okay, there we go. All right, so that... Knowing that it's a Komodo is nice, and... Oops. Well, 220 for a non-critical. Okay, 340, that's good. We take all these things out as we move along. Unfortunately, it doesn't have fur, though I don't really know what you need fur for, sort of, after a bit. There we go. And we're going to hug the wall here and look for opportunities where there is a cave of some sort. I'm pretty sure there's a cave. Oh, look at that. Let's, uh, let's bear it up here. Oh, that sucks. I'm inside the bear. Um, there you go. So they're, they're pretty decent. Um, that was really miserable. We should, of course, have gotten a sneak attack in, but uh, that was not the way of the world. But it's okay. As long as we get the jump on the bears, then we should be okay. Right. As I said, looking for a cave. Okay. And another bear coming up. This time we're going to be getting... We're just not getting it. Ow. Damn it. That's the deep wounds. And that's the deep wounds. That sucks, the deep wounds. Uh, that means we actually need to figure out how to solve the deep wounds. Because we have... I don't know where that is. Uh, could I just... I could do that, right? There you go. That's a wolf. We go i should do that more often um because it's super efficient to be able to see it that's a hunting hunting and exploration location or hunting and exploration talent that we have let's chop it chop that one where is it it's over by the talent and it is this one here sense medium and we probably make it mega fauna as well and fortunately i think that we have like a searcher kit is a deep wounds and what does it take bone fiber and leather okay um, let's get that unfortunately and see if we can hopefully we can build that right now get it there where is it you're gonna be here yeah, consume and that takes care of it of our deep wounds all right it was bound to happen anyway we are going to continue looking for our el elusive elusive mind that we uh, we know must be around here somewhere but uh, it, it could be like something you need to chop down or it could be something what is that can we see it i can't see what it is well i guess we'll what there you go it was a boar dead boar All right <laughs> the combat music doesn't even start Right, we're still looking desperately for our our mine, and when we find it, we'll just uh, jump on in. So it turns out that um, the mines that I thought were available up here are actually only available from an underwater cave. So now we need to go in here somehow and find an underwater cave. That's going to be a little bit of a challenge, and luckily we can't drown, so that's nice. Um, there will probably be some nasty fishes, so like this, I don't know, maybe nasty, maybe not. Uh, we'll just roam around until we find this uh, location here. I think we found the entrance here, middle of the lake-ish. There is definitely something that looks like an entrance, <clears throat> and if I recall correctly, it gets 
like pitch black in here and then we hopefully get somewhere useful on the other side and i mean we can barely see anything but we can see a little bit what we're really looking for is anywhere that we can go up again so um i am i think i'm still in a cave it must be that's a big cave wow um but where do we get i really feel we need to get up we need to find some place to get up here so good thing we can't drown but they definitely need something this is a massive place we're in here underneath something how big is it okay we're still heading this way which makes sense to me i think we're getting to be underneath the ground right now yeah underneath the ground getting up <coughs> still not or still not getting up i think it actually splits so that one entrance will go up here and one another entrance goes up here let's see if there's an actual cave or it's just a connection ah uh, there we go there looks like there is an exit let's have a look at this hopefully there will be some kind of mining going on here and hopefully we'll get another way to get in uh, instead of this but uh, it'll be uh, it'll be interesting to see so we get up here in a cave we should be ready oh. and we are oops then we can turn on the lamp somehow oh. okay well um i don't know where the light comes from but we'll we'll take it there Hmm, is this, uh, this is not choppable, is it? It is choppable. Oh, interesting. So where do we get out from here? Get us that one, one percent chance to just get everything in one go. Okay, we are now in a cave and we are right here. It's not probably not a big cave, but it's a thing. First things first, we need to figure out if there are worms in here. Yep. That's worm on one worm. I should go forward. That's a good hole in here. How do we get it out though? Yeah. That's it. And that's the exit we probably saw up top, but um, I don't think we can get out of there. No, it'll be have to be like a massive haul of all of this and then get it out the same way we came in. Yeah, that's not ideal. Well, anyway, that's awesome. We got some stuff. So at this point, we'll just be mining this, filling up our inventory with this and nothing else. So this is the last bit of ore we have in here. There we go. And I think I've cleaned out the whole thing all the way down there. Everything here. We Our inventory is way overfilled, as you can see. Overburdened. Since we, we now have the option of either going home with an overburden or with nothing at all. So I'm going to take that. And I'm going to just pop some of these foods that we can take. And then figure out what is the most important thing to get home. That one. And... I'll take this when we go. So I think I'll take some fur as well. And from now on, I can just try to get home. This is going to be a little bit dangerous, to say the least. Because we, uh, we're going to go through a dangerous territory. And we are just <laughs> pretty weak as, as it is. So what we need to do is jump on back into the water. And just let's get a little bit of our yeah, back again. And as soon as we get out of... Oh, yeah, let's pop this one. Consume. Because we are no longer in in cave so that's good we go in here and we are going to just swim our way out ah oh, that's gonna be a little bit more difficult oh it's night time uh yeah that's gonna be really difficult it's gonna be really difficult <laughs> i don't know how but i think we might be finding a way no nope, we're still not out i think i might have gotten out of this because now i'm getting storm warning so i think that's good news i suppose now i don't have storm warning anymore so 
I don't think I'm out anyway. Now the storm warning. Oh, the storm warning is kind of coming in and going out. Uh, and still there's nothing to see here. But I do feel that if we go up, we are actually going to go up to a surface. There we go. We managed to survive the storm. We took about half our hit points. And now we're just ordinarily slow and not sort of extraordinarily slow. Now that feels like lightning fast to us. I need to go north as much as possible and we'll just start. Swimming away, I have no idea if, uh, as long as things are moving. Okay, now we see fishes. That's a good thing, right? Uh, is that a good thing? I don't know. I think it's a good thing. And we want to stay underwater as much as possible until we get out of this. Ow. Stupid fish. There we go. It's miserable rain here. And we get a little bit of light. Let's see where we are. Okay, we're in the middle of the... Middle of everything. We'll do <laughs> Shit. Someone is coming at us. Hmm. Can't do this. All right. Let's go straight north. Yeah. That's a lot of hit point. This is a lot of nasty damage we're getting. Oh, no. Funny enough, that's not really okay. We might be killed by a stupid fish. Let's go down here and just see where that fish is coming. There it is. That's the one. There we go. Off we go. No fish. Ah. All right. I need to get out of this. This is gloomy. And there's another fish. Don't care. I don't know what that is. Let's assume that it's a bird or something. It's probably a bird if it's up, up there. All right. This is north. This is... Uh, I think we're... Getting closer, but that's a crocodile. The crocodile, where it's bad news. And that one. See these fishies, and they are attacking us. Damn. I think we need to get out of the water. Yep. That uh, debuff is not very nice. Oh man. And it's probably also slowing us down this part. Need to get. Come on, get out of there. This is just always the worst with this part here. And we're losing our food debuff. All right. We'll get it soon enough. We'll get it. We need to... Uh, where's the closest land area? There? Okay. Let's just get it out here. Okay. We got another interesting debuff that I think makes means that we can't really move very much. What is that? Hypothermia. Oh, let's move forward. I can't even get up back up to the surface now. Oh, this is a survival game. All right. But now we're we walking on the surface. Oh, uh, there. Right, cool. We made it onto ground here. Perfect. Hypothermia is dissipating. Uh, food thing is dissipating. We'll switch back. We have... We're on land. I feel much safer now. There will still be all sorts of crap that we need to deal with. Uh, funnily, how do we... Oh, there we go. We just need to get back up to... That is our location. So, whew. That was a bit uh, rough. Let's get our debuff from the poisoned fishies out. Let's get the debuff from... And the hypothermia out and then we should be uh, good to go yeah we're still taking damage from everything here but there we go that's one debuff out and then if we could get a little food stuff something that would be also be nice so hypothermia is still causing us causing us damage but soon it'll be awesome all right no more debuffs this is good if we could get, get, get a little berry or something, that would be lovely as well. Then uh, we'd feel a little bit more safe as we transfer. Oh, there we go. Berries, berries, berries. Anything we can get here. There we go. Eat that. There we go. That's uh, already feeling a little bit better. Okay. It looks like we might be making it all the way home. Ah, well, let's not uh, get over, over eager just yet. So still a long way to go and uh, there can still be all sorts of ambushes on the way. It's five in the morning. Uh, is that a, what is that, soy? Coffee. Can't eat coffee. Oh, the music, background music, I'm just, it's terrifying. Yay, some other things here we can eat. Watermelons. Sweet. So that's three food debuffs we have now. Uh, oh, food and water when consumed. Nice. Okay. Not that we were missing water, but it's still nice to get the water. There we go. Now we are pretty safe. It's going to be morning. It's going to be nice. And we will come back with a massive haul of goodies. Just need to make it uh, home alive.
Yeah, um, here's a little trick. It's the wrong place. It's actually over there we live. So, um, so much for the right way. <laughs> I got lost and started heading in the completely wrong way. I was like, I should be seeing it now, but um, not if we can head the wrong way. So what I'm going to do now is uh, uh, do a little bit of hauling here and uh, move this way. Don't care if the deer sees me. Don't care if the deer runs away from me. That is perfectly fine. Yes, I got a bunny. Now that's 7 out of 18. Perfect. Almost there with our quest. That's glorious. And, whew, making a way forward. We lost one debuff. And I, I feel that we should be seeing our house soon enough out here. Uh, we're just following the river. And it should be sort of across the river and then up here-ish. But let's uh let's just continue and we'll get it get to it soon enough and come back with our massive haul of uh, lots of iron or okay let's that, that is that's a decent amount right that's a decent amount coal copper gold and lots and lots of iron to be turned into steam ah, i found it i found the house perfect all right now we're ah just the final stretch and home sweet home are we missing a few doors and such here and there but uh we it is good to be home now we can't we don't even have our light anymore because it ran out of petroleum uh, so what we need all we have is we can put this oh, okay that's actually not what we want we want to make a lot of it into steel bloom so we can put this part in here because that's that's just a normal thing and that will be good then over on yeah we want to make that into steel bloom was that in here that we make things into steel bloom uh, let's make get a few more of these uh, here let's see that is steel bloom let's go all of that in here maximum go ah that's good that is good and we have a little bit of stone coming back here and we have uh, the rest of the stuff to be emptied is some oh this is nice so what we also want to do with this part here with all of these there are six of those and they will be going into here as well get all of that in and then convert it into uh here crushed stone a crushed uh, crushed bone which can then be turned into epoxy afterwards great yay we made it we made it indeed and i can then go with this oops this goes in this goes out and then they start charging again ah we made it back and that is absolutely glorious so i hope you enjoyed our little foray into uh, into the wild and uh, in in that part we uh, we did get some we did get some under, did discover some underwater cave, and we got a lot of good stuff. We've set up a permanent miner, which we can then go out and pick up once in a while. We'll also be needing to fill up some canisters so we can go in and and bring the iron and copper from our permanent miners, the deep more miners, and then get the get that uh, back again, back again here, and that will be sort of a thing that doesn't run out at all. Uh, so if you have enjoyed it, be sure to hit the like button. Remember, I am streaming this on Twitch. So if you want to go see more exploration and missions and all that stuff, then come join on Twitch Monday, Wednesday, somewhere. Monday, Wednesday, I don't know. Uh, check my Twitch schedule and my uh, Discord schedules when I'm streaming it. I am uh, streaming it two to three times a week. Thank you for watching. On to next time. Take care. And as always, stay effective.